This presentation is to accompany the book Consumer Behavior, a Primer by Gail Tom. Operant conditioning is also known as instrumental learning or Skinnerian learning after B.F. Skinner, a scholar in this area. The following example will introduce us to this type of learning. You paint a white ceiling with white paint. Then when the paint dries, you notice you miss spots. This won't happen with this paint, which goes on pink and dries white. The feedback telling you where you painted is instantaneous. The example illustrated the model for operant conditioning. In everyday conversation, we call this trial and error learning. We perform a behavior and see the consequences of our behavior and then adjust our behavior accordingly. The three elements of operant conditioning model are behavior, consequence, and feedback. If the consequence of the behavior is not what we wanted, then we will likely not behave that way in the future. On the other hand, if the consequence of the behavior results in something we want, then we will likely behave that way in the future. It is the consequence that controls behavior. He who controls the consequence controls behavior. In opera conditioning, a behavior that results in a rewarding outcome is termed a positive reinforcement and increases the chance that the behavior will occur again. For example, many consumers like eating ice cream. They find it enjoyable. Eating the ice cream is tasty and results in the positive feedback of fun and enjoyment. Shopping is an activity that many consumers enjoy. Shopping is entertaining and results in positive reinforcement. Playing video games is entertaining. Playing video games is entertaining and results in positive reinforcement. In opera conditioning, one consequence of behavior is the removal of something negative or the prevention of something negative from happening. This type of consequence is termed negative reinforcement. Negative reinforcement increases the chance that the behavior will occur again. In this ad, the consumer is in pain. By taking a medication, the pain is removed and brings relief to the consumer. The medication removes the pain and provides the consumer with welcomed relief. This medication is for consumers who want to prevent osteoporosis from occurring. Taking the medication prevents the disease from occurring and enables the consumer to maintain her health. In operant conditioning, a behavior that results in an undesirable outcome is termed a punishment. This type of consequence results in decreasing the probability of the behavior in the future. Getting food poisoning after eating at a restaurant will likely decrease the chance that you will want to eat at that restaurant in the future. Eating at a restaurant and then getting sick will likely decrease the chance that you will want to eat at the restaurant in the future. This is an example of punishment. In an experiment conducted at the University of California in Mendocino, sheep were allowed to eat vine leaves, then received lithium chloride, which creates a mild and pleasant stomach sensation. These sheep avoided eating grape leaves in future grazing times. The sheep were allowed to eat vine leaves, and then received lithium chloride, which created a mild and pleasant stomach sensation. The sheep avoided eating grape leaves in future grazing times. This is an example of punishment. Prompting is a process to initiate consumer behavior. Shaping is a process of encouraging consumers with incremental steps that move the consumer closer and closer step by step to perform the desired end behavior. Barnes & Noble might prompt behavior by announcing a reading by an author, such as Maria Shriver. 
Barnes & Noble might then shape behavior by presenting a reading by Maria Schreiger, followed by a presentation with a book signing. Here, customers can meet the author and purchase a book at a discount, and maybe one for their friend too.